this episode we're going to be taking the 17 hour train from Beijing to Lanzhou, trying out many kinds of noodle dishes, visiting the Hui Muslim community. Spices and stuff and the aroma in oh. here is amazing. Speaking to Imam Sheng Hao at the historical Siguan Mosque. Uh, it looks like this is the famous lamb head. Sampling food at two outdoor street markets. But that is proper lean meat, that is. That's quality right there. Oh, okay, tomato noodle. Mm. Tomato noodle. Learning how to cook beef noodle broth by Chef Wu Renqi and enjoying the scenic Yellow River at Jungshan Bridge in Bai Tai Shan Park. Had some nice delicacies, a lovely squid pie for lunch, and uh, we're about to board the train now to Lanjo. Looking forward. Looking forward and yeah. on the train. been on this train for about half the journey now I think and we have a little treat some bai jiu and some blueberries and joined up to kill the journey and, uh, and some uh, blueberry plums uh, things from Xinjiang province yes good morning people um, I just woke up and um, slept pretty well actually um, picked up bai jiu helped me to sleep and um, it's been a long journey, about 17 hours, about one hour to go. Um, some interesting scenery outside. It's pretty, pretty barren looking. Well, this is Eric here. He's just, um, he just woke up too. I guess that was Eric's bunk for the night. How are you this morning, Eric? Uh, I'm all right. A little, uh, a little cramped up there, so. Huh. Yeah, I banged my head a few times. Uh, it was hard when I, because um, I tended to sleep in the nude, so um, it was hard getting my clothes back on, to be honest. Uh, it was kind of like playing Twister this morning, so uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, I guess I need to take a big dump too, so oh, yeah, <laughs> that didn't help. We have squatters, so that'll be fun. Yep. Oh, yeah, if you're curious to see what a hard sleeper looks like, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So what do you think Eric? Are you going to be doing any exercises on the train this morning? Uh, probably not. Yeah. What do you want to do today then? Um, well, I guess we're going to have to look for a place to stay since we haven't done that yet and get something to eat and go from there. Finally arrived in Lanzhou, I can't wait, new part of China. It looks completely different to anything I'm used to, first time in the West. Scenery is just out of this world and uh, a lot of like rice fields on the way but kind of like barren like uh, rice terraces let's say. A lot of farmers too, I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. So it should be very interesting, it's a little bit more rural than what we've been used to so far and I'm excited, let's have an adventure man. Yep. So what exactly is this, Eric? Well, he was saying that um, it's kind of a delicacy where they put fruit inside. It's like a little, a little thing we would say in Chinese. It's kind of like a bread thing. I wonder what it looks like on the inside. Kind of seedy. Oh wait, now I'm getting it. It's kind of a flower taste. It's good. I like it. This is Amuchua. 
，烤螺，烤，烤是吧？啊，烤。哦，挺好的呀。啊<笑>、oh, ，That sounds great. So they just roast them here on 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 the、um, on the on the on the pot here, and、uh, yeah, that's how they make these things. So we're finally in the hotel room. It's kind of nice to be here after being on that train all that time and finally showered and changed. Yeah, as you can see, this is just kind of a typical hotel room in China. Decent size, not too big, not too small. It was a decent price, about seventy, eighty or and B. I think that was pretty reasonable, and it's right next to the train station. So、um, yeah, it's a good location. I think it's three kilometers away from、uh, the Jungshan Bridge, which is a major site here. So、um, I think.、Uh, We'll do okay here. I mean, we tried our luck with Airbnb, but、uh, to be honest, we couldn't find anything like downtown. They were all out on the outskirts and nothing that cheap. So、uh, I think we'll just do this on sit that we found on the sea trip for the first few nights and kind of take it from there. We're here now、um, at a Huey restaurant. We just got some beef noodles.、Uh, I've not tried mine yet, but, but how is it, Eric? They're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah. One might say they do. <laughs> yep. And in here we have some vegetables, some sesame seeds, some spicy broth, some noodles, some beef, and some pickled vegetables. It's really delicious. <laughs> Well, we're in a Huey neighborhood. It's pretty amazing to be here. Apparently, school just got out. There's a lot of people, a lot of students, a lot of kids just walking around, just like that. And yeah, it's really, it's really quite an experience, honestly. Hello. 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 Officially recognized minorities. There are approximately 10.5 million Hui people residing in China, and they are East Asian Muslims. There are all these little alleyways, and、uh, people just live in like really small spaces here.、Um, you, can, you can easily get lost. I mean, it's kind of like a little labyrinth walking through here. Yeah, it's like a yeah, pretty much like a labyrinth, it's like a little maze. I'm actually surprised people can recognize their houses. They all kind of look the same. Yep. Ooh. And, um, we've just been filming、uh, some of the old people and some of the kids. Now we've been told that we're not allowed to film the old people.、Um, one of the families said this to us. They were not happy that we filmed them, but they said that we're allowed to take video of the kids, but just not the old people, which is which kind of strange. Which is very strange. It's almost the reverse in most countries. We do not want to be taking videos of kids, but here they don't care. So、uh, that's a bit of a culture shock for today, I guess. I guess so. Well, I was just told that you typically would drink these,、uh, eat, eat these, and drink milk. So, hmm, that's interesting to know. Thank you. Thank you. You are a local person, right? No, I'm a foreigner. Foreigner, right? Okay, so these guys are from Xinjiang, yes, the province nearby. So yes, to the、uh, to, to China's northwest, the most northwest province. What do? Do how do? So、uh, we've just、uh, arrived in this.、Uh, 
place where they do, they do all the spices and stuff and the aroma in huh? here is amazing. It's very strong. You've got all sorts of stuff. Yeah. The smell is just like... intense. So uh, we're here in a restaurant and um, well the beers are completely different here too in the rest of China so yeah it's a uh, bomb beer. Yeah Yellow River beer and um, all the other brands are different too. I don't see any Qingdao here, there's no Harbin. So yeah, it's nice to see something new in China. Let's see how it tastes. Let's give it a try. Bad. So I'd say it's slightly better than me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit more bitter than the other beers, I'd say, which is good. It has a bit more flavor. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there you go. So if you're ever in um, Lanzhou, give Fong a try. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? We're okay. just at the Jungming Night Market. Yeah, we're here to try some of the local delicacies like lamb head. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, uh, it's going to be an experience. I don't yeah. know if I'm going to do it. I mean, it really depends on the price. If it's expensive, then Probably not. Yeah, maybe. We'll try some of the Hui <laughs> Bao though. Definitely yeah, that sounds that. good. Some of the lamb, some of the barbecue stuff, that should be great. Yep, and let's just see what happens. Yes, I think the quality is much better here. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Oh, this Rojia Mo is really good. How would you say it compares to the, the ones in China you've had? I would say it's definitely better than the ones in Beijing. What about the meat quality in that? Uh, the meat quality is much better. I'd say it's chicken, which I've usually had pork, I think. Like pork or beef, pork or beef, maybe lamb. But uh, this is very interesting. I don't think I've ever had a chicken real gel. Oh, this is a... Um, Barbecued squid, which is also delicious. It looks like you can also put it in a burger like the Rojiao Mall. Hey. It's not like a lot of the Rojiao Malls you get in China. A lot of the meat stuff is like um, you get a lot of fat and not much meat, but that is proper lean meat, that is. That's quality right there. That's something you see in the rest of China. Look at how much meat is in those oysters. In the rest of China, it's typically just a little bit of meat or no meat at all sometimes. You never know. So they have all these amazing fruit drinks here in Gansu too. I, ne I never thought they would have all that. It's amazing. Really fresh. Just cutting the, fr the fruit up right here. It looks great. It looks like this is the famous lamb head in the Zhengning Street Market. Uh, all right, so that is 50 RMB. That is a little on the steep side for me. Definitely expensive for China. So I, I don't know. I've heard I've heard some stories about how it's not so good, and I don't really know if I want to try it for 50 RMB. So this is Lao Zhao. It's basically yogurt with milk, and some of the things in there are like some raisins, some sesame seeds, and some sugar. It looks like an interesting dessert. Sour sweet flavor, that sounds pretty interesting. It looks like this is a new thing we haven't seen before. Some kind of sweet cake, I believe. Uh, do you think it's a candy? Okay, so we can have sweet, we can have spicy, and we can have really spicy. <laughs> Alright, one for six five. That's pretty good. It is a little bit sweet, but it's also very savory. It's got some egg inside and some ham. And it's only six kwai, which is about the equivalent of one US dollar. Yo, 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 it's not the right It's like the red bean. Uh, and sweet water. This So they only have this during the winter time. It's a winter, it's a winter uh, dish. You can have it as a dish or you can have it as a drink. 
pear with the water. Mm. Very sweet. It's nice. And I can see why it's a winter dish. It really does warm you up. And yeah, so really good. Okay, well, I just decided to try some of the Jidan Lazao, which is the rice porridge with egg. And we're going to see how it tastes. Sweet. Oh, that's actually very good. It tastes like milk. You can really taste the milk, the sesame seeds, the rice, and the egg, and it, it's a nice, subtle, sweet taste. Well, this is the same rojiao mole we had last time, except this time, they put lamb meat in it. I'm really tempted to try this next time, because I like lamb a lot. Well, after a long day of filming, it's nice to sit back and have a nice cold beer. Isn't that right, Cal? That's right. Well, uh, I guess we'll be checking out the bars later and uh, seeing what that's all about here. So far, I've not seen any white people around. I've seen two people probably from India or somewhere like that. But, um, but yeah, there's not, there's not many foreigners here. You know, there aren't many foreigners here considering it's a big city. Yeah. Well, I at least haven't seen any. I'm led, I am led to believe we're probably the only foreigners within miles. Okay, so we're here at the Jogwa. Yes, the Jogwan is apparently like a bar, but much cheaper. Neither of us have any idea what it is, so we're about to find out. Isn't that right? Yeah. I like the exterior, though. Pretty cool. Yeah, right here you can see the Chinese character for Jio. Jio means alcohol. Well, we're inside the Jogwan now, and it turns out to be very disappointing, actually. The beer is really not that good. There's nothing but guys in here, as you can see right there. And it's pretty much dead. So, yeah. <laughs> not a very good uh, not a very good choice on our part. You no, know, we tried the bar street earlier, but they're more like cafes, and again, it's pretty much just old dudes. And uh, even then, there aren't many people, full stop. I guess that's on us for coming to the bar street on a weekday. Maybe we'll try again on a weekend. It's our second day in Lanja. We're just on the way to the Siguan Mosque and we're trying out the, this local bread. Yeah, it, it kind of tastes like Western bread in a way. This one tastes like a bit of a Greek bread. This one maybe an Italian bread. Yeah, this is one sweet corn flavor. Good stuff though. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty interesting. So we just arrived at the uh, Siguan Mosque in Lanjo. Yeah, this is one of the most grand mosques of China. It was built during the Ming Dynasty, and most of the food here was actually rebuilt in the 1990s. So this is my first time seeing a drone fly in China, so I'm pretty excited for this. Wait. Well, I have to say, for any camera enthusiasts out there, China is a great place because you can get away with so much. A guy just came up on the roof and was talking to us and that would never happen back home. Yeah, back home, um, typically older guys would say, hey you kids, get off of there, or hey you kids, you can't do that. But no, here in China, they just don't seem to care. We just, we just had a nice conversation with them, continued to do what we were doing, and yeah, he just didn't care. You know, honestly, I think a good uh, piece of advice is even if you don't smoke, have some cigarettes and a lighter on hand. That way you can make friends really easy. It's a very smoking friendly country here. Walking into the mosque was my first real encounter with Muslim China. I was surprised to see that the plays were more welcoming than I had anticipated. Shiguan Mosque, a beautiful combination of Chinese and Arabic architecture. The beautiful mosque dominates the center of Lanzhou. It is the epicenter of the Hui people within Lanzhou. Uh, 
。哦，这个。哎、啊，这是篮球最大的膝关前倾侧，这是篮球最大的前倾侧、哦。最大的。啊，嗯，这个大件可以容纳，呃，三千人。哇塞，三千人，祖妈，祖妈可的时候三千人，三千人啊，院子下的就是四千人。这么多人？嗯，四千人。我刚才在这里。History. Both in modern times and even in recent times, the Yellow River has been a source of natural disasters and flooding. And throughout history, natural disasters and great hardship has often brought people together. So this is why it is the source of Chinese civilization. And we're going to try some Lanzhou meals today. What's your name? My name is Wu Renqing. This is a Yang Cheng Tao. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to make it. So what is this? Rice noodles or? This is the noodles. It's a made of a tomato. Oh, okay, tomato noodles. Hmm. Tomato noodles. And what's this sauce? Huh? This flavor? Spicy? Yeah. The other thing is the beef. Okay, so we got the beef here. Some mushrooms. And something else. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Called? This is the uh, seafood. Seafood. Yeah. Okay, so that goes in the pot like so. Lobo. Lobo. Okay. Lobo. Yeah. Radish. Mm. Radish. Yes. Fish? This is the beef. Beef. Okay. Mm. Like a broth. Mm. Broth. Yeah. Okay. Beef broth here, boiling away. Slow cooked beef. Mm. Takes uh, three hours wow. to make it. Three hours. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. Like so, and then it's boiling the water. Mm. I was basically in a supermarket right here, basically like a Chinese Seven Eleven, and um, basically this guy just approached me and said, "Would you like to try noodles for free today?" A taster, and if you like them, you can come back and get them next time. So that's another great thing about being here, just being able to sample food for free. Man, more strong. Okay, makes a man more strong. This is a, uh, it's a special. This is a uh, pasta special. Okay, that sounds awesome. Ooh, that good. A lot more meat in them. And some different things, these red things, I think they might be a chili type thing. And we got fatter noodles, maybe some soda, soba noodles, and some mushrooms. So let's see how these taste. How's the meat? Meat's very good, very flavorful. Let's see the noodles. Oh, these are good. Hello. <laughs> and, and, you, and you would never expect to find them in just a little convenience store, almost like a 7 Eleven. Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, China, it's full of surprises, right? <laughs> 
Today we're trying some young rochoir. It's a local, uh, a local thing with barbecue. And today we're joined by two ladies as well. So yeah, this is a Chinese barbecue, lamb barbecue, famous in Lanjo. And uh, it's been pretty damn good. Yeah, I think the meat quality here is better than in Beijing, I would say. Any day of the week. Any day of the week, yeah. We have some lamb tendons here. And I gotta be honest, I think this is better than the actual meat. It's, it's loaded with spices, it's very chewy. It's absolutely delicious. It, it melts in your mouth. Okay, so we're in another food street. It's completely different from Jungning. And yeah, it looks to be looks to be a lot of people here. It also looks very popular. And then over here we seem to have some kind of sweet treat here. And uh just your hate tong. So this is brown sugar and just your bai tong. So this is white sugar and this is brown sugar. And they'll roll it into these things here and make it taste sweet. Looks pretty good. I might try it. It's pretty good. It's sweet. It's hot. It's kind of like a deep fried donut. We just reached the pagoda on the top of the hill and we can see a breathtaking view of the Yellow River from down here. We can see the mountain from the other end all the way over there. And we've actually noticed that uh, Lanzhou is not a very big city at all. It's actually very, it's actually very narrow. It's almost shaped like a sea. One, one would even say it's it's actually quite interesting. It's a long city, but not a wide city. And you wouldn't know that unless it came up this hill. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will be travelling through the Chilean mountain range. We've just left uh, Lanjo and we're on the train now going to uh, Jiangye. Touring the rainbow coloured mountains. Unfortunately, I mean, it's pretty windy today. You probably can't hear the audio very well. Enjoying delicacies in Jiangye city. There's even some sesame seeds in there too. And yeah, you can taste a lot of different flavours. Driving along the Kangla grasslands where the Yuga people live. The temple was actually built during the Jin dynasty. And visiting the Buddhist Mati Se Horseshoe Grotto temples. 